So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at these Twisted X original Chukka driving mocks. So driving mocks have been around for a long time, or moccasins, there are several different names for them nowadays. I mean, these were, um, my mom said when I actually bought a pair of these, she was like, you know what's so funny is that these were totally in style when she was big into horses and all that type of stuff, and man, that's like, 30 years ago or so. But anyway, I bought these. Long story short, I've seen, lately I've seen a lot, a lot more people have been wearing these and several of my um, neighbor friends have been getting these. Mainly the ranchers have been getting these. Um, maybe not these exact types, but some type of driving mock. You might be saying, why? Why even own a pair of mocks? Like what, what's even the purpose of them? Well, here's the deal. When you've been working in cowboy boots all day long, and you get home and you don't want to put on some junky old pair of sneakers to go run around in the yard or go on the back porch and sip some sweet tea. You want to put on something that looks really, really nice. You can go out to dinner in these. You can go out, out on Sunday wearing these and you're not going to have people thinking you're a hillbilly, which I have no problem with looking like a hillbilly. But anyway, so my neighbor across the street, he had these and a couple months back and I was like, hey, are they as comfortable as they look? He's like, they're absolutely amazing. So he was on a second pair. Um, the only thing is he only got about six months out of his because they were his everyday shoes. We would go help him out on big welding jobs and everything like that and he would be wearing these shoes. And um, I mean, he used and abused those shoes and uh, they, they took the beating pretty well. So I was like, well, I'm very interested. So I started looking around and I went to my two local stores. I went to Atwood's and then I went to Cavender's. Um, between those two stores, um, there was 30, 40 different varieties of these shoes. I mean, that's the crazy thing. There's not just one or two varieties out there. There's loads, especially with the Twisted X line. So I tried on probably close to 20 different pairs and they all kind of felt different. The one thing that I will say is Definitely go somewhere where you can try them on, if possible. If not, take my advice and these things are absolutely outstandingly comfortable. But anyway, it is really nice if you do have a store that carries them. Get them on your feet and see what your feet think of them anyway. I bought these about three weeks ago. The one day I was at a friend's house and I was standing on concrete for about seven hours talking and Parts of my body were hurting, but the one part of my body that wasn't killing me was my feet. My lower back was hurting, but my feet were absolutely perfectly fine. So I will say that these things are really, really nice. I have pretty flat feet and my feet are very wide. These are really nice because they come in wide and super wide and all types of stuff like that. I got one size down, I'm normally a 10 and a half, so I got a 10. I kept trying out different pairs and it all seemed like, for me anyway, it was about a half size, a half step down from a boot size. I tried on the normal width ones and they feel really, really good, right? But my feet were kind of wider than the soles of the shoes and kind of like my cowboy boots, I didn't get them in wide. Um, so they feel really good for six or seven or even a year, you know? And then once that leather starts to stretch, um, or it's kind of really, especially in cowboy boots, it's really prone to uh, slumping off to one side or the other side. So my boots have started to slowly do that. Even with me walking really straight and try not to, you know, walk um, like sideways with my feet or anything like that, I tried to take really good care of them, but just because they weren't wide enough. Um, so I knew with these, I was like, even if they don't feel like a sock, um, I definitely want them to be wide because I don't want my foot to be over here instead of being actually on top of the sole. I don't know y'all, these are, I just absolutely love them. I love, uh, these ones actually have leather on the bottom, real, real thick, several um, layers thick leather here with real beautiful stitching, uh, stitch patterns underneath here. Um, the attention to detail on these are 
absolutely incredible. Actually, my neighbor knows um, the guy's brother that um, started uh, Twisted X, so it's kind of funny. Small world that we live in. Yeah, anyway, the other thing is, is my neighbor actually eventually went through his second pair and he went out and bought a pair of Ariats. And I was like, so what do you think of them? And uh, I'm like, are they more comfortable than your uh, Twisted X? He's like, oh no, they're, they'll never be as comfortable as the Twisted X, but they are about $10 less or something like that. Um, the downside about those that I just didn't personally like is just the, um, the sole on them was like, trying to, I'm not trying to be like dramatic about it, but it was about an inch and a half thick um, of sole. So it really ended up looking like a work boot, unlike like a casual um, classic moccasin. So it, it definitely looked really heavy duty, but on the other hand, it kind of looked really work booty like so and I didn't really I didn't really I wasn't going for that but anyway um he said he's been loving his Ariats I don't know I just really like the style um so all of us brothers bit the bullet and we all went out and got us a pair uh to try out and even dad went out and got a pair for himself these aren't really we don't work in these shoes so these are just like for going out to town uh going out for Sunday what else maybe if we're going over to um Maybe if we're going over to our friend's house or something like that, and we know we're not gonna be like, like learning jujitsu or anything like that or wrestling or anything like that, um, then we'll bring these. Other than that, we'll just go barefoot or wear some shoes or something. The other cool thing that I saw inside of here, I, I don't know if y'all can really read it. It's upside down, I know. I'll read it for you. But the soles are actually, you can take out the soles and this might not be surprising to some people, but to me it was kind of like, oh, that's pretty neat. Um, if you have a tendency to like have really nasty smelling feet and you like don't wash them or anything um and sometimes your soles can really start to smell really bad you can actually take these out throw them in the washing machine and then you can put them in the dryer and stick them back in there and at least it'll cut down a little bit of the smell for me anyway i'm not going to be sweating in these or um wearing dirty socks or anything in these of course i'm going to I'm, bit, I'm trying my hardest to keep these as nice as possible. Anyway, they should last a very, very, very long time, but you never know. That's why I bought them. And I'm going to, um, I'm trying to be brutally honest in this video. So anyway, um, let's talk about some, um, let's talk about some cons to this because I mean, in reality, life is not always puppy dogs and rainbows. Um, so one con, which I mean, you just have to kind of accept it because it's just the look, you know? So this high ridge that you have here with the stitches that are kind of exposed, that is very prone to, like my other, uh, like my neighbor buddy, if you're smashing them up against steel pipe all the time and uh, doing all that type of real labor intensive stuff and um, yeah, you'll pop the threads like he did and it eventually just finally comes unstitched. Um, the one thing that I did see with him anyway is he didn't really oil his at all and I'm trying not to get the dirt inside but as you can see that's uh, what is that three days after two inches of rain we have really sandy soil around here anyway on top of really really like hot conditions 105 or more and then really sandy ground um, it can suck the living daylights out of your leather and your stitching. So I've been, I've been trying to stay on top of oiling these at least every week or so, or every other week. I think these, I haven't oiled these in like two weeks. So anyway, I've been really liking them. I really like them because that's the other thing too, is with not having a full sole on the bottom, you get loads of stretch, loads and loads and loads of stretch. If you were planning to, if you had to run after somebody or run after a horse or uh, chase a cow down or something, you'll, you'll, you have plenty enough flexibility in these to sprint, <laughs> at least for a little bit. I guess maybe one of the other cons, the one thing that Twisted X used to be, and now they're no longer, but they used to make all their products in the USA, but now they make them, outsource them and make them in China. So, I mean, to some, to some people that is a, um, that's a deal breaker. To me, I mean, like probably 50% of the things that we buy around the farm is probably from China anyway. Do I want to support them? No, not really, but whatever. Milwaukee tools are made in China. Uh, they used to be made in the USA, but guess what? They're the best power tools ever. So, I mean, 
It's not a deal breaker for me, but for some people it is. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to make this video. I didn't see any other uh, Texan cowboys out there, um, which I know I'm not. As a lot of people have made clear in my past videos. Um, I didn't really see a whole lot of videos out there on these, and I was like, they're super nice. They're a super cool shoe, and I think they should get, um, I think somebody should talk about them a little bit more. So I'll leave a link down in the description down below if you wanna go check these out. Um, if you do have Atwoods in your area, um, not sponsored or anything, but um, Atwoods runs sales all the time on um, Twisted X stuff. So uh, one time, like a month before I went out and bought these, I found these for like 80 bucks. Um, of course, the time that you, you're not gonna go out and buy them will be the time that they will be crazy, crazy cheap. If you did like today's video, I have a couple other uh, clothing videos, my jean video and my shirt video. And on top of that, if you can see from the B-roll, one of the beautiful things about having, um, I'll back up here. One of the beautiful things about having really high quality jeans and jeans that have that are boot cut and have a flare at the end make these look that much better. If you had skinny jeans with these, I don't know, you would look like a dweeb or something in them. It, will, it wouldn't look good at all. But if you have a real loose fitted pair of jeans or if you just have a flared pair of jeans anyway, these really, really are like the icing on the cake for your jeans. Just wanted to say that. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for just taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch my videos. I know they're not the best in the world, but hey, better than nothing, right? So, hope that y'all will have a very blessed day. We will catch y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.